Hello, this is Sascha from NetbookNews.com. Uh, we are over here at the Fusinian Memorial Garden, uh, it's part of the National Taiwanese University in Taipei. And we just got a new system from BenQ. It's a so called Joybook Lite U121 EcoBook, which was made out of 25% of recycled materials. And uh, it's a pretty interesting system uh, running on an Intel Atom uh, Z530, means the uh, 1.3 gigahertz version with one gigabyte of RAM. This one has a 160 gigabyte hard disk, plus it also sports an eight gigabyte SSD. So this is a kind of hybrid system. And we are just about to do the unboxing over here. So let's see it. It already says green design, a little less time, a lot more power. Um, so this kind of philosophy is all about the recharging of the system. That means in one hour you can recharge about 80% of the battery. It should last between six and a half and seven hours. And um, yeah, before we're taking a look at the system, just uh, the ordinary stuff, uh, the power cord, the PSU, actually a little bit bigger than the one we know from the uh, ordinary netbooks. And we have uh, an additional uh, power cord too. So we got two power cords, not sure if that's right. Well, that's okay. You never know if you're gonna lose one. Um, we have a couple of manuals here. Let's see. Uh, it's all in Chinese because we just got it from the Taiwanese office. So it's a kind of quick start menu, a manual, and this should be. Um, oh, here are the drivers and applications for your Windows XP installation. And I can see there's also Olympus Linux on this little DVD here. So, but let's get to the device itself finally. I've got rid of all this. And here we go. Ta -ta -ta -ta. That's the BenQ uh, EcoBook. It's a 12.1 inch system with 1280 by 800 and the first thing I noticed was the design. It's really slim and it felt very, very solid. You immediately notice this uh, great build quality of the system. Um, well, let's just start our look around it. We have a Kensington key lock here on the right. There's an Ethernet connector, USB 2.0, jacks for the microphone and headset and a 4-in-1 card reader. On the front we have all the different status LEDs and on the left we have two more USB 2.0 and a VGA out and um, the connector for your PSU. On the back, let's take a look at it. Um, I really like that you can access um, the SSD, it's underneath here, and the HDD would be here, even though it says SSD. But there are, there's an SSD and an HDD in there, and the memory slot. So, if you want to upgrade your system, you can easily access this. Let's take a look at the battery itself. Here we go. So this is a six cell, 10.95 volt, 5,200 milliampere. It's good for 56.94 watt hours. So as I said, expect between six and seven hours of average usage while you're surfing the internet. And also an interesting thing is uh, we already found a dummy slot for an additional and optional 3G module. So let's get the battery in there again. Oops. Here we go. And yeah, I love the um, the non-glossy lid, so this is not a fingerprint magnet, that's really fine. And as I said, it felt very, very solid. Um, a glossy display, so maybe not the one you want to use in the bright sunlight, right? Hello. Um, but what immediately caught my eyes was uh, this great keyboard. 
This is really a fantastic keyboard. Of course, this is a 12.1 inch system, right? So um, let's give it a little check. Uh, wow. So these keys and the feedback from the keyboard is really just fantastic. It's something that I would expect from an ordinary desktop system or a full-size notebook. Um, I like the way that they also have a big right shift key. Look, they even, they even got a um, specific key for the Euro sign on there. So, yeah, that's a fantastic keyboard. Um, there's a kind of downturn with the small trackpad and the single mouse button. So, I mean, there was a lot of space left, right? So why not getting a bigger trackpad on there and, um, you know, separate mouse buttons? But, but still, it's, it's a size I could work with. And again, you know, the big, the big plus is this keyboard and uh, power button over here. And that's it, that's it pretty much. Um, there's a 1.3 megapixel camera on there. And yeah, let's take a look from the side so you can see how slim it is. And it's super light too. This should be like, uh, I would say like 1.2 to 1.4 kilograms. Um, if I compare this with my Samsung NC10, for example, it's around about the same weight. Right? I, I, I might even say that the EcoBook is even lighter than this 10.2 inch netbook. Um, just to give you an idea of the size, look at this. So it's a little bit slimmer. Of course, it's it's deeper and wider, right? And yeah, the big advantage, 12.1 inch display um, uh, with 1280 by 800 resolution, you know, this is definitely a huge advantage when you're surfing the internet. And as you see, even the ants love the EcoBook. Right? <laughs> you have some ants crawling all over it. because. Uh, uh, these outdoor unboxings are quite interesting. Um, let's make a little boot up test to see how this display performs in the bright sunlight. So actually in terms of the components they used, um, um, the Z530, uh, oh, sorry, that's the Z520 um, with 1.3 gigahertz. Um, was meant to be used in our MIDs, means mobile internet devices. So, but this is a kind of solution that we also saw with uh, devices from Asus and Acer um, using the Intel Atom Silverthorn in kind of sub notebooks, I wouldn't even call it a netbook anymore, above 10.2 inch. So yeah, it's booting up pretty fast. Oh no, let's say um, that's the average speed, forget about the fast. This is something that we should expect from it. Here we go. And I'm just gonna, so let's open over here my computer. And there we go. The C and the D partition. These are no the D partition is the SSD. That's the one. It's from method was FAT32. While the C and the E are the HDD. So yeah, thank you Joybook Light. Uh, no, 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 it's not light, right? Is it light? Is it called light? Always mixing it up. It is called light. Yeah. I knew the other one was Joybook, but I can never the other one too. So yeah, thank you Joybook Light. You want to one of the so-called EcoBook. Quite a different system. Uh, first time I see a 1.3 gigahertz uh, Intel Atom Silverthorn in a 12 inch um, solution. Um, interesting because it's meant to be a kind of 
green sub notebook because they're using 25% of recycled materials in there. Um, it has this extra advantage of uh, being able to get recharged uh, for 80% of the battery in just one hour. Um, I love the build quality of it. This is just uh, amazing. I love um, the design. The keyboard is great. Trackpad is pretty small, even though the uh, even the mouse buttons and of course the glossy display is uh, not so appealing to me because if I want to use it outside, you know, in the bright sunlight, this causes a problem. But besides this. Um, it has a great build quality, I like the form factor and it's definitely a sub-notebook to look at in the future.